Hallo meine lieben Freunde, was geht ab, was los, muss los, guten Abend, guten Tag, das ist dein lieblings YouTuber James Bray und ich heute, oder ich reagiere heute auf, oh my god, wrong German words as a native speaker, a native speaker uses every day. Now, um, this is very interesting because you guys know that I'm on the incredible journey of mastering Deutsch. Um, I need to be speaking it a lot more. I'm going to actually be a little harder on myself over the next few weeks because I feel like I should be making way more progress than I'm making right now. Even though I do understand a lot more, I feel like I can expedite my process if I just speak to people in Deutsch, you know, regularly. So I'll be on Discord a lot more often. If you guys want to join the Discord, link is in the description down below. You feel me? And that's pretty much it. Uh, Abonnier to decent canal and like the video. Bitte, let's go ahead and see what he has to say, man. Interested to seeing what he has to say. By the way, possible collaboration with this guy coming very soon. I can't wait. Really cool, really cool guy. <clears throat> Let's uh, see what he has to say, man. And, and you guys let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below. But we will be discussing a lot throughout this video. So, let's go, let's get Los geht's! Hallo zusammen. Today I want to talk about a few German words that get used frequently, yet they shouldn't exist in the first place. What is wrong with you Germans? Uh, with us, like me and... <laughs> so in a way, let's learn and find out more about German words that you shouldn't learn in the first place and their correct forms. Oh dang! I I know like everybody's been teaching me different shreds of German, so it's gonna be uh, this is gonna be interesting. I I, I really want to hear what he has to say. That's what's gonna be interesting. Because I've heard some people. People have taught me certain words and then other people will tell me not to say those certain words because they're not accurate I guess if that makes sense. So eh, and no and some of those and some of the I don't understand So somebody humor me this right? So I understand right now in the German lingo popular pop lingo, right? There's a lot of Arabic words that are in um, some German speech and stuff. Now, I know that's not traditional German at all, but I'm saying like it's more, I call it urban German. You know, urban German has like some Arabic words in it or Turkish words. And it's crazy because um, I, I'm just trying to learn, you know, so I can speak in the most hip way possible. And uh, well, let's just say a lot of the older people in the German community were not happy. <laughs> they, they, they said some pretty interesting things about me using Arabic words with German and they weren't kind words so um, if somebody can explain to me why people get upset that would be great because I just feel like it's just an, an interesting way to to bond with people your age like people my age use those words you know in Germany and I don't hear any old people using those words maybe because they want to stick with more traditional Hochdeutsch but that's fine you know but urban German man urban German let's see what he has to say though so the first impossible German term that I want to talk about today might be the most common and most frequently used one. It's funny to witness fellow Germans knowing that, well, what they just said is wrong, yet they still said that because it's so in their minds and that mysterious German word is Einzigste. Or as some Germans might also say Einzigste. Doesn't make it any more correct though. It can be found as an adjective, but I guess it's most often used as a noun, as a versatile one for that matter as well. Hmm, Depending on the related genders, it can be a masculine, feminine or a neuter noun. Really? Der, die or das Einzigste. Singular. Die Einzigsten. Plural. As if an existing singular form of this word isn't enough. There's also a plural form. Oh okay. boy. But what does it mean and what does make it wrong? Why doesn't it make sense to use it? Interesting. The answer lies in the actual correct related variant of this term and the semantics. Okay. Der, die, das einzige, singular, die einzigen, plural, and the related adjective or adverb einzig or einzig. I'm so confused. I'm confused. I'm already confused. Like, I'm maybe I'm confused because I don't know what einziger means. Einzigste means einzigste. I'm saying it wrong. Term means soul, solely, so. 
only, oh. single, exclusively. exclusively. But if this term already expresses that you're talking about something that only exists once, the only existing item, object or person, character trait and whatnot, why do so many Germans use Einzigste? Einzigste. Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess one potential answer could be that linguistically speaking, and subconsciously even, Germans associate adjectives well as something that can be compared all the time. And rightfully so in a way, since that applies to the vast majority of adjectives in German. Most of them have three different forms. Der Positiv, the positive, the basic form. Der Komparativ, the comparative, the first Steigerungsform, comparing oh, form. And okay. der Superlativ, the superlative, the second and highest Steigerungsform. For hey. einzig, only the positive form exists with reason. But since that is einzig und allein, solely and only true for a minority of adjectives, I guess Germans sometimes apply the comparison possibility of adjectives because that is the norm. But oh, as I've said, okay. semantically speaking, it doesn't make sense to compare einzig. So it's correct to say, ich bin der einzige Vlog Dave. And it's wrong to say, ich oh, So it's like, ich bin der einzige, einzig, einziger, oh. Ich bin, ich bin der einzige Vlog Dave. I'm saying it wrong. I don't even know what's wrong with my pronunciation today. I woke up and like, I, I can't talk today. I have like mush mouth. <laughs> That makes sense. Ich bin der einzige Vlog Dave. So I'm the only Vlog Dave, basically. I'm the most only Vlog Dave. That the, also, einzigste would be wrong because it's like the most only. But if you say, I am the only Vlog Dave, so ich bin der einzige Vlog Dave is accurate. Einzigste is wrong, but einzige is right. Interesting. Very interesting because, I don't know, I think the hardest thing right now for me, and I think that's why I cover it in a lot of language learning classes first, whenever you do start learning a new language, is conjugations. I, I have horrible, horrible times with conjugations. Like if I learn a new word in German, I try to conjugate it in my head. And I'm just like, eh. but I do know that for the most part, if you're using, um, you know, a conjugation for the word, you're like, you know, I, like I or me, you know, um, it's normally going to end in just a singular, eh, you know. So if I use like, if I'm trying to conjugate the word, uh, fahren, right? If if I'm trying to say I'm going somewhere, I would be like ich fahre, you know, instead of ich fahren or fahrt or um, whatever, it'd be like ich fahre, fahre, right? And or if I'm saying like oh, uh, I think isn't isn't it sh shower or sh shower or something like that sh showing showing or watching right like you know you would say is shower if you're watching something instead of is showing or is shout <laughs> or some shit like that I don't know I'm not sure if shout is like even a word in German but you you, you get what I'm saying I, I figured that out too but I still have a rough time with conjugating verbs um in in Deutsch man it's it's so weird to me. But I do know that there's three types of endings that I see a lot. It's like S-T-E, so st, there's, um, there's N, like, you know, you know, E-N, and then there is uh, just the E, and then there's a T as well. And they're all used a little different, but E will always, just a singular E will almost always be used at the end of like a regular word. I know you guys are watching this like, bro, like we understand that we're German, like the fuck, but this is for the people out there that are not German that are like, oh my God, like I'm kind of on this language learning journey with you. But this is interesting. In der einzigste Vlog, Dave. Eh. People will still yeah. get what you mean, of course, but that doesn't make it a right term to use. True. Another good example for a wrong German adjective that still gets used frequently can be found in the phrase vollstes Vertrauen haben. To have Vollstes the most Vertrauen. fullest of trust. Vertrauen. Oh. <laughs> How can something be fuller than the fullest form possible? And yet, Germans also use this wrong word regularly. And by the way, I don't exclude myself from doing that. I'd really say that most Germans use this one in daily colloquial German, oh. including grammatically wrong forms. For instance, the superlative form am vollsten, the most fullest. The most fullest. Yeah. fullest. It's obvious that if something is fuller than full, it overflows. Funny enough, though, we also have a German adjective, überflüssig, 
over fluid, literally speaking, which refers to things no one needs or that don't make any sense. The phrase including Volstis, many Germans know, is something Angela Merkel, Germany's chancellor, is known for. At times when a politician in her ranks gets criticized by the media or society and she thinks that they, you know, need support from her and they haven't done things overly wrong, she likes to state and verbally express her trust in them. And then she often says, hm, hm, hat mein vollstes Vertrauen. He has my fullest trust. <laughs> blank, blank, hat mein vollstes Vertrauen. But it should be fullest. Oh, wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. That's, mm -hmm. that's interesting. Has my most fullest of trust. Ironically, though, in the past, those people also were the ones who had to leave her government sooner or later. Shit happens. I Dang! <laughs> I kind of heard a few things about um, An Angela Merkel. Um... I mean, I'm not into politics at all or anything, but from what I've heard, I think um, she tries to obviously do what's best for everybody, but I think in doing that, she kind of flip-flops a little bit, maybe? That's, what, that's what's been explained to me. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. I'm not into politics, but that's the only thing I've heard about her. So I guess like basically if the people are complaining a lot about a certain issue, then she'll do what's best for the majority of people who are complaining about that issue, right? But it might not actually be the most viable solution for everybody. <laughs> so if that makes sense, I'm trying to articulate myself as best I can, because like I said, I'm not into politics, but this is what's been explained to me by, you know, um, people actually living in Germany. So uh, maybe it's wrong, maybe it's right. You let me know in the comments down below. I'm curious. Yes. And of course, this video would be sort of incomplete without zumindest at zumindest the most least. At the most least. Sometimes I really want to know the, why. It's not an adjective, but an some, adverb that can't be compared because some, of that anyway. Adverbs can't be compared. Some, so, in a way, my premise about Germans subconsciously dealing how with... How do you say this again? Sumindestins. 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 Sumindestins comparable adjectives the same way as they would use the usual comparable adjectives doesn't really apply here. Hmm, so there might be other reasons. Now that I think about it, there might also be an English equivalent to some extent, at the very least. At the very Was least. ein blöder Tag, zumindest scheint heute die Sonne. Was ein blöder Tag, zumindest scheint heute die Sonne. What a bad day. At the most least, the sun is shining today. Oh. The only correct form of this one is zumindest. zumindest. And I hope that you could zumindest learn the einzig true message, having zumindest. volles Vertrauen in the German language. Zumindest. Oh yeah! I mean, frankly speaking for a moment though, if you see all these words as part of, well, colloquial spoken German, or written German for that matter, mm. I guess there is no real wrong or right to them. But regarding established linguistic rules, for instance grammatical rules, well, those terms, you know, just semantically speaking, they there is no need for them to exist, yet they still do. I would like to dedicate this video to Ed Room, Frau Pfennig and the whole 5 times 3 German class from England. And an especially big Schrei aus, a shout out doesn't exist. Schrei aus. Schrei aus. I've been saying like, I've been trying to say Schrei aus to Vlog Dave. He's super dope. Oh my god. I, I actually learned quite a bit. This is... This is kind of mind blowing, man. This is mind blowing. In German, by the way, goes out to Sonnig who seems to love brezels, brezeln and pretzels, well, as much as I do, which I think is really cool. <laughs> Thanks for using my videos in your class, that really means a lot, and that really shows that what I'm doing here on this channel, at the end of the day, is really worth it. Absolutely, it's helping me out. Shit, I'm not. I'm, I don't speak good Deutsch, man. I don't. My Deutsch speaking skills are scheiße, man. I, I gotta get better. <laughs> Nicht so gut from for for James. Nicht so good, James Bray. <laughs>
anyways yeah this is actually very helpful um i'm gonna have to re-watch this video of course and 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 really ingest what he said because some I, I think those terms i've never heard those terms before ever but honestly to be to be honest with you guys people speak so fast that i catch bits and pieces of what people say and i have to like i'll like be staring at them for a little bit i'm like hmm what did you just say and i'll have to run exactly what they've been saying to me for the last five minutes in my head in like a very 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 slow decoder in my in my brain so my decoder in my brain right now is not very advanced i need to upgrade it and the only way to upgrade that is to you know uber mein deutsch so vielen lieben dank for all of you guys support and um until the next time i see you guys again bis später leute tschüss abonniert this abonniert diesen kanal und like the video bitte before you leave thank you tschüss <laughs> hey what's up did you guys subscribe to the channel did you subscribe to the channel? Ah, oh, well, if you haven't, make sure you do that. Also, we do have a Discord. The Discord link is always gonna be in the description down below on any of my videos, and it's dope. What we do on Discord is pretty simple. A lot of you guys are, I'm collecting you guys from a bunch of different countries, a bunch of different places, and you guys wanna teach me a whole bunch of stuff. You guys can join the Discord and teach me anything. You can send me any kind of messages and stuff. You can actually post memes. You can participate in the community and just make friends. Just Go ahead and join the Discord and see what, how, what what kind of situation you're getting into for yourself. Also, there's going to be some giveaways in the future. There's going to be some giveaways. But to create some incentive for that, I need you guys to follow me on Instagram. Are you guys following me on Instagram? You know what my Instagram looks like? You probably don't know what my Instagram name is. <laughs> it's right there. Just go ahead and check it out. Check it out. Check it out. It, it's dope. Uh, just follow me on Instagram. I, I do live streams every day. I try to, you know, engage with you guys in every way possible. I know a lot of, a lot, not a lot of creators are very engaging with their fan base. I try to be engaging. So just go ahead and check it out. There's no, no harm, no foul. Follow me on Twitter too. I honestly am trying to grow my Twitter. <laughs> but I don't really post that often on there. But when I do, you guys will be the first to see whatever post those will be. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you guys want shout outs or whatever, I don't know a lot of we have a lot of upcoming independent artists that have been hitting me up as of late I might create a series where I get I favor my international independent artists and stuff and I might promote you guys for free but just it might just be one or two a week you know I mean, you guys can give me some feedback on that but all to say follow me on my social medias all right if you guys aren't doing that already you need to do that because that's a pretty big deal <laughs> I'll see you guys later but enjoy the content I create it's gonna be random uh, reaction videos a lot of a lot of everything reaction videos vlogs challenges cooking videos gaming videos anything you guys suggest when you join my discord or message me on instagram but i'll see you guys soon take care follow me peace